Hello folks. So here we are approaching July already. Um, this month, this month is going to be action packed. And that's especially the case if you are a fire sign. So let's speak about the month of July. So July sees the beginning of a very strong Mars transit. It will enter Leo tomorrow, in fact, where it will transit until August the 18th. Yeah, so it's a long tra transit, the usual transit, around six weeks, so June uh, the 30th till August 18th. Now, the month will start with a full moon, in Sagittarius, in Purvashad, on July the 3rd. This is an excellent moon cycle. Um, it's got the close aspect of Jupiter on its own house of Sagittarius. It's also aspected by Mercury, which is in Gemini at this time. It's an excellent time for travel for those that are studying, especially a new subject. Especially if you're learning a new subject, it's an excellent time. It's especially beneficial for all the fire signs because we have the Dharmatrikon being very strong right now. Yeah. On July the 6th, Venus joins Mars in Leo for a month long transit. Venus moves retrograde and returns to Cancer on August the 8th. But for July, we will have Venus and Mars in Leo with the direct aspect of a retrograde Saturn from Aquarius. Mars is strong in Leo, and so is Saturn in Aquarius. But now Mars will dominate the scene because Saturn is um, currently retrograde. It's an excellent transit for creative endeavors, taking time for pursuing your passions, uh, and just, just getting a lot done, accomplishing a lot. Relationships can also get their zeal back, and you may get the confidence to go after what or whom you desire at this time. As soon as, move, as, soon as Venus moves to Leo, Mercury will move to Cancer, where communications can get a little bit muddled. With all the planets aspecting Leo this month, it's going to be a dramatic month. So see where Leo falls for you to see where you can experience some big dramatic shifts in life. Areas that felt stuck will now just all of a sudden gain uh, forward momentum and very quick, very quick momentum as well. The sun, as usual, makes its monthly transit, this time into Cancer, on July the 17th. Here the sun is not entirely comfortable, but it will, um, it's traveling alone and it's not getting any aspects from any planet, so that's a good thing. As soon as the sun moves here, we have a new moon cycle in Cancer, in Punarvasu. This is another gentle moon cycle with no malefic aspects. The big news, of course, of the month is the Venus retrograde from July 23rd till September the 4th. I have made a separate video where I discuss this in detail, so I'm going to upload that in the next few days. But for now, let's talk about each sign. So starting with Aries. For Aries is a month that can bring the spark back into your life. To begin with, you have Lagna Lord, finally. Out of, out of debilitation. So any issues with your domestic life can feel smoother now. If you felt out of sorts, out of energy, just generally stressed with life, now you will feel fired up and ready to go as Mars transits Leo till August the 18th, which is an excellent transit for you. You may face some obstacles with Saturn's aspect, but Mars is going to dominate here, so you'll have the ability to easily overcome 
easily overcome that. Yeah, you'll also have the help and support of others when Venus joins Mars in early July. First week of the month can be busy, and you can actually get a lot accomplished. All planet, all planets are favoring you, and are well placed for you at this time. So go after what you want with with confidence. Jupiter's presence is strong. With Jupiter moving away from Rahu. It's a great month also for domestic matters. It's an excellent month for income, especially if you're self-employed. You can gain by a property at this time, either buying or selling or just rental income or simply moving into a new home of, of your liking. This is, a, this is a good time for that. Full moon on July 3rd can see a culmination in some legal matter. It can see you planning a trip overseas. If you're studying a subject, you can see a breakthrough now. Mercury's movement into Gemini is also an excellent transit, especially for starting something new. Money matters look good now. You have Lugna, Lord, Mars in the fifth house, which is fantastic transit. So make the most of it. Um, as I said, you can get a lot accomplished till August 18th when it stays there. Ninth floor Jupiter conjunct in your first house. This is an exceptionally lucky influence for you, especially if you're a, a Aries Lagna. Romance can feature now with an excellent placement of Venus. You can meet someone new. Uh, this transit actually will last until October because Venus will return to its Indigbala position, Cancer, right, in, in August. Um, again, I've spoken about this in detail in the Venus video, video which I'm going to upload shortly. Venus spends this month, though, with Mars in Leo in your fifth house, so relationships can get heated with sparks flying. If you meet someone new, it can be a very, very profound connection. Movement of Ketu, Ketu out of Swati is excellent for relationships, especially if you've been going through a nodal dasha. There's a new moon in Cancer on July 17th. Yeah. So again, the focus goes back to domestic matters, as it probably has been for the last uh, month and a half. Saturn's retrograde cycle can help you complete some old work, um, career-related projects as well, right? With that 410 axis getting highlighted. So this is an action-packed month for you. Um, first half of the month, especially, you can get a lot done. The second half, I think you'll be... Um, going back to issues that you were dealing with with your career and with your domestic situation but whatever it is it's going to get that final push that final go ahead so there will be forward momentum in those areas of your life yeah. so good month for you very good month for you taurus what's happening for you um we start the month with legna lord venus in the third house not the best place for Venus. And with Mars in the fourth, this can bring up some disputes, especially with your close relationships. And perhaps with siblings, perhaps with close associates also. Venus moving into Leo will come as a relief and can mean that you have to make some compromises in your domestic life, possibly with your partner. With Saturn moving retrograde in 10th house, old actions can also come back to haunt you now. Its aspect on your seventh house is not good for marriage or close relationships, where you may be experiencing these challenges. Yeah. Especially with that Mars on the fourth. Um, full moon in your eighth house in Sagittarius on July 3rd can see some resolution with money matters, uh, perhaps loans, but it can also bring some anxiety. Again, with your relationships, close partnerships. Jupiter's aspect on the 6th can be good for health issues that may have troubled you. Um, it can bring some good news there. Be watchful of anxiety. You also may have trouble sleeping now because of that Rahu transiting your 12th. It's a good time, though, for making amends with relationships that had gone sour. So if you need to do that, now is the time. There's a full moon on July 17th in your ninth house. This can be a helpful moon cycle for you. It's especially good for a trip away 
um, with the sun in your third house, you can now come up with some solutions also to your domestic life issues. It's not the best month, but try to take some time off. Because with that Mars in the fourth house, you can feel agitated and very reactive. Um, so it's not the best time to take big leaps, rather to maybe take a break from it all. Yeah. Gemini, what's happening for you? This month is a big improvement for you from the last two months. Month starts with Mercury Legna Lord in the first house. This is an excellent transit, especially if you're a Gemini rising. Yeah. In fact, certainly if you're a Gemini rising, not so much if you're a Gemini moon. It's a good month to make decisions for long-standing problems. Solutions will just come to you. Month also good for learning new skills, networking, career progress. Earnings will get a boost now as well. Mars in the third house will help you take initiatives and give your energy levels a boost as well. Again, if you are, are, are especially if you're a Gemini rising, relationship with siblings, however, can suffer. And if there was some issue with the father, that can also come to the surface now. Yeah. Double check facts if taking advice now. Venus moving into Leo can cause some disagreement in relationships. You have a full moon in your seventh house on July 3rd, which can help to smooth over relationship issues that you may have been dealing with. Um, it could bring a culmination to an ongoing dispute with your partner. You could see a closure of sorts now as well. Sun moves into Cancer on July 16th, which is your second house. There is a new moon in your second house on July the 17th, which can help you get sorted financially. Um, it's a good time to organize yourself now. If there are health issues, then this is the time to get yourself checked. Venus moving into Leo on July 6th can bring more lighthearted fun back into your life. And with Venus's retreat back into Cancer in August, that will be a good time to rethink issues with money, issues with relationships. Yeah. Overall, it's a good month for you, especially the first half. Cancer, you will feature fourth Lord Venus in Lagna for a few months. So you could be going back and forth with property issues, a move maybe in the cards for you now. If you are employed, it's the time to negotiate a better salary. Money is on your mind with that 10th Lord Mars and Venus moving through Leo, your second house. It's a great time to spend with your family as well as organize your finances. Full moon in your sixth house in the beginning of the month, again, points to your material life. There's a lot of focus there. Life at your workplace could have been stressful with the eclipses taking place in the 410 axis for you. You may also be starting a new chapter as far as your home life is concerned or as far as your career is concerned. You may also be spending a lot on your home, reorganizing things buying a new place, decorating, things like that. With so much focus on the 410 angles, it means that there's some foundation that is being redesigned in your life. It could be to do with, as I said, with your home. Because this axis is so strong this month. Sun moving into your first house mid-month can bring back your confidence now. And it's an excellent sun transit for you. Things improve mid-month with a new moon also in your first house on July the 17th. You'll now be in the position to make some long-term decisions. I'd say better to wait till after the first week of this month to, to do that. Yeah. Because by then Mercury will have shifted to Cancer as well. And Mercury going to Cancer in your first house is, 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 a, is a good transit for you. Overall, it's a good month to make decisions regarding your finances, your job. Second half of the month is more productive and you can see some really good results. Yeah. Leo, you are in the spotlight this month with all the planets either in Leo or aspecting Leo. You start the month with Lagna Lord in the 11th house, which is excellent for earnings. 
socializing, just accomplishing a lot. There's a lot of focus on you this month. Um, you'll be getting noticed by others. It's an excellent time to reinvent yourself in some way, perhaps in your career, home, with your friendship circles. Your partner will be paying more attention to you now. If you're single, it's an excellent time to circulate to meet others for dating, for friendship. With that Dharma Prakon so strong, if there was ever a time to make your dreams come true, to go for the plunge in any aspect of life, then this is the time to do it. You will see quick results with Mars in that first house. Your Karka Mars stays in Leo until August the 18th, and it's a very supportive transit for you, especially for matters connected to property, travel, education, learning new subjects. All of this will be beneficial for you now. The full moon in your fifth house on July 3rd carries this energy as well. Excellent moon cycle for you with Jupiter's close aspect from your ninth house. It's a time when you can see some lucky breaks, actually, especially with foreign connections, any, any foreign dealings, any foreign transactions. If you're starting something new, this moon cycle is an excellent omen for you. It's an action-packed month. Now would be a time to make some bold moves and take some decisive actions. Venus also in your first house with Jupiter's aspect means that people will support your decisions and you'll be perceived in a positive light now. Overall, it's a good time for a fresh start, a new chapter in relationships, putting any goals into practice and even just socializing with others. Magna Lord moving into the 12th house on July 16th is a good time to retreat, to complete pending projects. July 17th, there's a new moon cycle in your 12th house. Your expenses, your expenses could go up at this time with Mercury also in Cancer. Venus goes retrograde in late July, which will also slow down some of this action. First half, you could see a lot of activity. And then things will calm down in the second half of the month. It's an excellent month for you, Leo. Virgo, what's happening for you? Um, for you, you start the month uh, with Lagna Lord in your 10th house with the sun. It's excellent transit for career matters, for money matters. Also a good time to take some decisive action. Venus in your 11th house is excellent for earnings, good for socializing, great for networking. There will be a lot of activity behind the scenes this month with Mars in the 12th house and Venus joining Mars. You can also experience a reversal of luck with that 8th Lord in the 12th house, getting Jupiter's aspect. Expenses can go up now and investments can undergo some losses. It's better to keep plans under wraps until August when Mars moves into your house on the 18th of August. If you're studying or researching a new subject, you can see some breakthroughs now. Perhaps finding better deals if you have a mortgage. Uh, because Seventh Lord is in the Eighth House, there can be some troubles in relationships or a separation with a loved one. An old relationship that has not been working now will dissolve. Venus and Leo confirms this trouble in relationship. And joining Mars, it, it, that can create difficulties. Full Moon happens in the Fourth House on July 3rd. So family can be supportive and help you with with some of the problems that crop up now. Spending at spending time at home is a good remedy as well for the stresses that you may have, you may have been undergoing. Pay attention to health matters um, because stresses can be can be high for you now. Mercury going into Cancer in early July will be good for money matters. Venus returning to Cancer in August will also be good for you. There's a new moon there um, in Cancer as well on July 17th, which can open up some new opportunities through your connections, through networking, through your friendships. It's a good second half of the month to go out, socialize, network, mingle with others. So this month is easier to navigate in the second half for you. Libra, the focus this month is going to be on friends networking, socializing, increasing your income, 
For some of you, um, you'll be able to secure new job opportunities now. So much energy in your seventh house, in your eleventh house, can make you feel very extroverted now. And in fact, it's a good time to, to go out and circulate and mingle. If you're single now, it's a good time to make yourself more visible, to go out and meet, meet more people. It's still difficult energy for attracting a stable relationship, but Rahu and Jupiter are moving away from each other, so things improve significantly in this area. You have a full moon in your third house, great for starting new projects, good for travel too. This is on July the 3rd. Spending time with siblings, excellent. Can be very beneficial now. Like not Lord Venus moving from Cancer to Leo and back to Cancer is actually they're both good placements for you. It will have you um, focusing on your career, um, uh, making strong connections, making good money over the next few months. If you give attention to your long sought goals now. You can really achieve them without a lot of effort. Yeah. Ketu moving to Chitra will make you reflect on what you need in a relationship and in a relationship partner. It can also bring a sudden break with a relationship partner. But it, it probably if the relationship hadn't been going well for a long time, yeah. That break can happen quite suddenly. You may feel the pressure also from a partner for a commitment or you can see people coming into your life and leaving just as quickly seventh lord mars continues its journey in your 11th house excellent tr transit for circulating if you're single you could meet someone special during this mars transit with mars aspects on this uh, aspect on the sixth house it can help you get to the heart of the matter on health issues resolve them once and for all sun moving into cancer mid-month positive transit for you it can make you very popular. Uh, many people will demand your attention this month. A new moon there on July 17th can put the focus back on career. New opportunities can pop up quite suddenly now. By the end of the month, Lagna Lord Venus turns retrograde in Leo, your 11th house. And soon to reach Cancer, your 10th house, early August. So there's a lot of focus on career, image, earnings, other people, friends, network. So you could be very active in the next few months. Overall, this is a good month for you, Libra. Yeah. Scorpio, uh, Legna Lord moving into 10th house is an excellent transit for you. especially being that it's moving away from its from its debilitation. Um, so any stress or health issues will see a significant improvement now. Your energy levels will also go up now. It's one of the best Mars transits for you, and it can be a time when you accomplish a lot. It's a good time to change your routine for the better with Jupiter Rahu in the sixth house. Um, trying new regimes like yoga, spiritual practices, very good now, and it can work wonders. There's a full moon in your second house on July 3rd, which can highlight family issues cropping up. Your attention can also be towards your finances. It will be a good time to make decisions on these matters with Jupiter's aspect on your second house. The solutions will come to you. So to act on them. Sun moving into your ninth house mid-month can be excellent for travel. Some nice surprises also in your career life. Mid-month onward. There's a new moon there as well on July the 17th in Cancer. Home life can feel a little bit difficult now for Scorpios. Um, there may be some unexpected changes as well, some adjustments that you may have to make. So see if you can get away for a break to renew yourself rejuvenate yourself. Traveling is excellent for you this, this month. And even in August. Venus and Leo in the 10th house, the great omen for career progress. Um, if you're self-employed, it's the time that you can get some profitable, profitable business as well. So for you, second half of the month is better than the first half. 
Sagittarius. So, fire signs are experiencing excellent transits with so many planets impacting the Thermothricone. Um, you can accomplish a lot this month. Fifth floor to ninth house can bring some favorable foreign connections and business from abroad. Travel can also feature for you. The month starts with a full moon in your first house, which is, of course, doubly auspicious, right? Being that it's Guru Purnima. With Jupiter's close aspect on this full moon, it's a month that you can experience breakthroughs that you've been waiting for. With a little bit of attention on personal goals, you can achieve a lot in the next six weeks. Relationships improve this month, especially with children, especially with money matters. Money matters will get a boost. Like Lord Jupiter is in the fifth and quickly moving away from Rahu. So this is a relief for you as well. <clears throat> if you've been suffering some like, some like um, setbacks, then this is the time that you will start to see things flowing more smoothly. Sun moves into Cancer, your 8th house, on July 16th, and the following day there is a new moon there as well. This is a follow-up on the recent Mars and, transit, Mars and Venus transit there in Cancer. This could mean the beginning of a new direction in your finance, financial situation, especially if it's related to your home, or especially if, you're, if it's related to any long-term investments that you've made. Venus will be returning to your 8th house in August, and you can see, see some sudden developments in your finances. And even in your love life, you can see some pleasant surprises there as well, um, especially from a past relationship coming back into your life. When that retrograde cycle of Venus starts in your eighth house in August, it's a good month for you, and it's going to end with some surprises. Capricorn, for you, the month starts with <clears throat> fourth lord in the eighth house. So, Mars going into your 8th house, you can face some disruptions this month that were unexpected. Um, it can be related to your domestic situation, to your home life. It may, may feel unstable for some reason at this time. Because it's a very dignified position of Mars, the events that suddenly strike in your life will force you to reorganize your affairs, which will ultimately lead to an auspicious outcome, even if it doesn't feel that way, even if it doesn't feel that way now. This can be confirmed when Yogarka Venus joins Mars in Leo in the first week on July 6th. Help could also come through a woman in your life to resolve some unexpected factors. Yeah? You have a full moon in your 12th house on July the 3rd. So, this can see some expenses going up. It's a good time to retreat, especially with all the planetary alignments in the Dushana houses for the first half of the month. Uh, so, keeping a low profile is a, is a good, good idea. Lagna Lord in second house continues to impact family life. Um, there may be some many demands on you now. Money flow can also feel like adversely impacted at this time. Lagna Lord going retrograde can also bring some delays to your plans and can have you looking for different sources of making money. With Venus's long transit in your 7th and 8th house, a lot is happening on the domestic front. Many changes are in the works. This could be connected to a relationship. Changes in your job can also support a residential move at this time, and it could happen very suddenly for you. Sun moves to Cancer on July 16th, putting the focus back on others, putting the focus back on relationships. Um, especially the case if you're in a committed partnership, it will feel as though your partner has the upper hand with all of your decisions at this time. A new moon also in the seventh house on July 17th can give you an opportunity to bring some closure with partnership issues or to turn over a new leaf in your relationships. Um, Venus returning to your seventh house in August for a few weeks will have you seriously pondering the state of your relationship and of your career. First half of the month can feel chaotic for you. Um, things improve the second half, where you feel you can assert more control in your life. 
for Aquarius, um, we start the month with a very strong Mars in your seventh house. And this can bring some confrontations with your partner. There will be power struggle with others. If you ever thought about doing your business, this Mars transit can give you a lift in the right direction and can bring people that can aid in this process for you. This is a time to plan and strategize in business, business affairs. Full moon on July 3rd in the 11th house is helpful in this regard. Because Mars is third lord, you will experience some obstacles in this regard. So expect to try a few times in order to meet your objectives. There could be some disagreements with your siblings now as well. Um, since you have Saturn in the first house, career progress is on your mind and you could be going through some stress here. Pay attention to your health as well because Saturn in the first house can be difficult for health matters. Sun's movement to your sixth house mid-July can increase the challenges with partner, with spouse or with your business associates. A new moon on July 17th, also in your sixth house, can bring some delays in your plans. It can also aggravate relationship matters um, with, your, with, with your partner. You may be occupied with problems this month, some of them coming out of nowhere. Venus Yogarka in and out of the sixth house confirms this and can bring some disruptions to your domestic life. A busy third house can help you be active though and keep you going. Right, so get involved with something physical, something rigorous, some rigorous activity, and that will help you maintain the balance of everything that's happening in your life. First half of the month will flow more smoothly than the second half. Pisces, for you, the month starts with a full moon taking place in your 10th house. So career matters could see some culmination. Um, you could be getting a career makeover now due to 10th Lord, in the second house. Asking for a raise or seeking a new higher paying opportunity is favorable now. This is another month to look into your finances, see where you need to make some changes in this regard, especially a good time to get your joint finances in order with your partner, but not a good time to take risks and make finance deals unless you're doing it with family members. Best news is like my Lord Jupiter, in the second house, starting to move away from Rahul. Lagna Lord is favorably positioned for you in the second house, especially the case if you are a Pisces moon. Uh, Mars in your sixth house is an other excellent transit and will push you forward to achieve your goals. Venus joining there can cause some difficulty in relationships, um, but in a few weeks, Venus will retreat back to Cancer in early August. So now is not the time to get involved in a new relationship, I would say, um, because there can be some deception. Sun moves into your fifth house on July 16th and can put the pressure back on work-related issues. Finances can feel a bit unstable and up and down now. Don't take risks with money, I would say, especially like if there's like a quick money making scheme in front of you. There's a new moon on in the fifth house on July 17th that can bring some solutions to you quite suddenly. It's a good month for those that have a business or for those that are self-employed. You can enjoy a good study month of profits. This is a month where you, will be, deal where you will be dealing with some old problems popping up. Yeah. A lot can come up actually this month from the past. Things will get easier though when Venus retreats back into Cancer in August for you. Yeah. All the best. That's all for now, folks. Cheers.